Hey everybody, Sarasota Tim. I'm going through major construction they got going on here in Arcadia, Florida. It's all the way across the state. They're widening everything uh, because of all the population increase and people going back and forth from the east to west coast on either side. And I'm just noticing right now, I dumped my fresh water uh, back at Wawa, just fresh water uh, from the holding tank. And let me tell you right now, I mean, I can't believe it. You know, every pound makes a difference. I had about, well, the dots are red when you put water in the holding tank. They turn green when it gets to where it says half. And there's a lot of water in there because I think it holds like 50 or 60 gallons or something. It's a lot of water. So I put water in before I left because I thought I would, you know, be crashing in it and I needed some water for a shower and the toilet and everything else. So I let the water hose run until the green light came on, which was the like half tank. And then I went and turned the water off and I drove over there. I never stayed in it. I could have drained it you know, after I got there and, and said, well, you're not gonna need this water, but I forgot I didn't. And then I left and I came back. I got all the way across the state almost into Arcadia and I meant to drain the water back in Okeechobee and I didn't. So I pulled out a Wawa, I forgot again. I said, stop, drain that water out. So I got out, pulled the valve and it drained for a minute or two. You know, it's a lot of water all fresh water right on the street and let me tell you i can just tell the difference in the uh power of this um this truck pulling this camper water weighs a lot and man i'm getting 8.8 .8 right now hopefully that'll go up by the time i come into sarasota uh, let's just find out because if that's the case, I'll never tow with water again except for maybe a, a five gallon bucket uh, to flush the toilets. And I'll find some way to uh, procure water once I get to where I'm at or an RV park or something. But I mean, I know it's common sense not to tow with a lot of water because of the weight. I didn't realize I had that much and it made that much of a difference. But man, it feels like I don't even have anything back there now. So you notice this uh, this construction here, it's very narrow and you gotta crawl through here. Uh, this town was a nothing town and I guess they're developing it now because everybody's moving to Florida. <clears throat> All the developers are buying everything up, even in the small towns uh, because of the cost of real estate. People are making sacrifices, they're moving from the big cities to the smaller cities uh, that are retired, that don't have to commute uh, to a job or willing to commute a little, or maybe they work from home, they're remote workers. Uh, there's all kinds of scenarios, but you can see they're developing Arcadia, Florida. This was a, a country bumpkin little town and it is growing leaps and bounds. And uh, it's the last town I go through before uh, reaching the uh, west coast of Florida into um, Sarasota. And I got it in tow haul mode, which makes a huge difference here on the Tundra. If you, have a, if you own a Tundra and you know, I mean, it really kicks it up in the power. Uh, so I love this crusher and I love my crasher. And now that I know, I, I feel like I got a much lighter load uh, you know, especially without that generator on the back and everything. I might just be taking me another trip. Laughlin, baby. Laughlin.